Look at Ki you can't see Kyoko because I'm blocking her, but Kyoko's on my screen, and I'm kind of gay right now about it. She looked good. She looked good. She got really nice eyes. I like her little eyelashes. She looked she looked really cute. She looking adorable. Anyway, um, I'm scared. I don't think I'm mentally prepared for what's happening. I just kind of you know I'm like I need to play Danganronpa, but like I do I really know what's gonna happen? No, I'm scared. I'm I've I'm, I've been in despair these past two trials. I'm in despair. I'm scared. This is this is some scary shithead. This is where it gets scary. So we came here. Um, there was a trial that happened, and in the trial, we were found guilty. But then Alter Ego has saved us somehow, and now we're here. So we didn't die. We were, we were found guilty even though we didn't do it. Something weird's going on. So the mastermind is Bowser, of course. So let's look around. I'm gonna click on everything. Is that an airplane? How'd something like that wind up in the school's garbage pit? Yeah, what the fuck? There's a Monokuma right there. This is a desk. It's probably the one that fell down here with me. Isn't this the one that Leon was on? It's a rocket and a tank. I better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. Is it? Like, I don't know. Okay, there's nothing to look at. It's locked. No matter how many times I pushed or pulled or kicked at it, it didn't budge. Getting out of here isn't gonna be that easy. Well, if I'm not getting out of here anytime soon, I decided to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. But that was pointless too. Next, I searched for some water. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are all around a bad idea? Yeah, again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in on all sides. That's still not enough reason to give up because because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. I mean, that's true. You shouldn't. After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was go to sleep. <laughs> my sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed. And all I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign, not exactly. What the? The strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched, the pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down over here? Something fell from up above? What could it have been? Who the fuck is throwing trash at me? This is not funny. It's just that, okay. Did a giant piece of dress just fall down here? I carefully stretch out my hand toward whatever it was that tumbled down here with me. Just a second. <laughs> a giant piece of trash? Rude. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. Ha! It smells... awful. Kyoko! Indeed. You look like you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing in here? So... Isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Um, you've got a bit of garbage in your hair. <laughs> She's like, oh no! She gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get rid of the trash, then faced me again. Hey. First, I have something for you. Go ahead, eat it. We can talk once... You're finished. Let me shove the food in my mouth, please. I'm hungry. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mommy. I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me. Within seconds, it was in my mouth and making its way toward my stomach. Woo, that really hit the spot. Now I've got all that energy I need to keep going. <laughs> so you still haven't given up then? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is about all I'm good at. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. Mommy, you really just- you tumbled down the fucking trash. Oh, you re she really said, let me come down here. Uh, but Kyoko, why'd you come to rescue me? So... To pay a debt, or no, to atone. Atone? You... 
During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you knew that I knew. Indeed. But even though I knew, I did nothing to help you. I... I abandoned you. You kind of hurt me, baby girl. You hurt my feelings. You hurt, you hurt me a little bit. Don't say that. You didn't abandon me. No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. However... But listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason that I had to survive, no matter the cost. You would kill your wife for that? My, my wife, please, why would you do this? Why did you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you, I'll tell you everything. The reason I have to survive... In other words... ...is so that I can do what I came to this school to do. What? I made up my mind to come to Hope's Peak Academy for one very important reason. So, you have some reason for coming to Hope's Peak. Indeed. That's right. At least I did once. Once? I... Until recently, I'd forgotten what it was. You forgot? But that's... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I had no memory of what my purpose was. No memory, that's impossible. Amnesia. Okay, yes. But is it really true? You lost your memory? Makoto. Do you remember, Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at this school? The first thing? You're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted and when I woke up, I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself, a disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at that point, my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to this school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would you make- what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because- Indeed. I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the Mastermind. They stole my memory. But why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I can come up with. Because of my purpose, my- and my ability, somehow they would interfere with the Mastermind's plan. So the Mastermind just stole them from you. However... And it could also mean, somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of this school and the Mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But what if you say- but if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? Why is that? If I did that, and we all worked as one, the Mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always the chance that the Mastermind is actually one of us. What? Also, hi, Nobu. How are you doing? Correct. Well, don't make too big a deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? The Mastermind, one of us? If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. However... Has it said why you were the blackened yet? No. Um, I just started, so no, I don't, haven't learned that yet. That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? <laughs> because among everyone, you were the least likely to be the mastermind. That was just intuition, but... I, I see. It's because I'm just, I've got such gay lesbian energy that you're like, she, she could never. She would never. Like, listen, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. I've just been waiting to play this all day and I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Your intuition was right, though. There's no way an ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. I understand. I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here, it's to stay here. Ah! It's just like the dream I had before, but why did that just happen? Listen. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing. It is nothing, right? Hey. Even now, I still trust you, you know. 
It's just, I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know I never asked for your help the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that's just her personality. So, do I talk to her again? I think I talked to her still, right? Then there's this other thing. You said you had a reason for- You had a reason for doing all that investigating on your own. So how'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember, but at the very least, I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. You mentioned your ability. I... My ability, what everyone should have known for me for. I'm the ultimate detective. The ultimate detective? Correct. And the reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy there was someone I had to find here in the school. You had to find someone? Who? So... Don't say it to me. Don't say it to me. That's too easy. Well, it was the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. The headmaster? Why did you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my father. Interesting. That's a big plot twist. Interesting. What? In other words... I was separated from his, him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Yoko's dad is Hope's Peak headmaster? Then that explains when Alter Ego told us how he thought the headmaster was involved. I... Oh, that's why, that's why she was like, shook at about that. Huh? I'll find a way, huh? I... No matter what it takes, I'll, I will find the no headmaster. No what? No matter the cost, yeah. So, um... Kyoko, what's going on? Yeah, okay, that makes sense I... now. My memory hadn't come back at that point, but when he said that, I felt strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose for coming here was to find him. And that makes sense. However... But listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear, so there's no misunderstanding. I said the headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. Then what did you see in there? So... The room had been ransacked. The shelves were a mess. The desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. You mean the mastermind, right? It's true. That was my assumption, yes. And to confirm my suspicion... I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. Is this some kind of map? Indeed. It's a layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. I found it in the headmaster's room, along with Makuro's profile and that key. The map showed that on the second floor was a home to a number of rooms meant for faculty use. Some of the staff must have had had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured the headmaster would have some kind of private room there. I assumed that if that were true, the room would likely hold more clues, so I went to check. Correct. And that's when I finally remembered. I remembered that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there? However... But once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dorms didn't have any cameras or monitors. Alright, um, imagine Monokuma was your dad. I would- I would perish. I would perish. So, what was it like, that part of the school, I mean? It's hard to describe. All I can say is- I- The moment I saw it, I realized- Whatever's going on in the school is more horrific than we ever imagined. What do you mean? So... I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself. I'm sure you'll get your chance soon enough. It sounds like it must be important and really ominous. Do I talk to mommy still? Hi, However... Akua, and hi, Muffin. Hello. Which is why I had no idea what was going on in the rest of the building. It has to do with Makuro Ikusaba, isn't it? However... Just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. And I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi. So then who did kill anyway, her? Anyway... What 
I can say for sure is that the Mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mukuro Ikusaba was to get me killed. Get you killed? Indeed. I miss Kyoko's nudes? What? What the fuck? Shut up. I stole that key and disappeared. And in retaliation, they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. Correct. That was the point of the class trial. It was. The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean because of the school regulations? That's right. Exactly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Speed Academy at your uh, at your discretion. In other words, the mastermind is adamant about following the rules, and with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules? That makes it sound like the mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school regulations. Hey. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. What's that? There was a point where Mukuro may have not become the victim. It could have been you, Makoto. I mean, yeah, the motherfucker came in my room and almost killed my ass, but yeah, anyway. I could have become the victim? Victim? Indeed. You know what I'm talking about, right? Do you mean... Oh my, are you talking about the noodles? Shut up! <laughs> During the night? I... I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the god of death. What? I can hear the god of death as he moves. That ability naturally draws me into cases just like this. Anyway... Which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms, and I all... And I su had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell, and I saw a white shadow cross the corridor. I gave chase right away. As I followed it, I saw the shadow go into your room. Correct. I ran into your room, and I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. However... That wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped them, but that led to... Whoever the masked assailant was, they ended up dead. Correct. And their murder was disguised, and the dojo key wound up in my room. It all has to be the work of the mastermind in an attempt to use the class trial to eliminate me. So all this would mean that whoever killed Mukuro is also the mastermind, right? Indeed. I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. But that's really bad if true. I mean, it means the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, but doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the clash trial to try and kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Correct. You're right. It is a contradiction. And it's not just Mukuro. They needed the class trial to kill me, but that seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is such a contradiction. Everything they did is a contradiction. So what does it all mean? In other words... It means that the mastermind is the only one who's... is the one who's been cornered. Huh? Makoto. Just a little more. A little more. I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. The identity of the... The other ultimate despair. The other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Mukuro was the ultimate despair. And that she's dead. But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. It's not? Indeed. If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking That's about... Right. What happened a year ago. The biggest, most awful, tragic event in human history. That tragedy, whoever's responsible for that, they're the ultimate despair. It would seem that despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then they're... Make no mistake, they're the root of all evil that has forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. Pain of a junk food junkie? Why is that the name? I see Celeste's outline. I'm so sad. I just notice her everywhere I go. And you see her? She's like front and center next to Makoto. I'm telling you. She's the homie. You received Dream Island Rocket. I guess I'm gonna... Motherfucker, I'm scared. 
The ultimate despair. A group of people who caused the tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now... Anyway... Right now we have to get out of this horrible place. Figuring out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Can we go over here? Do we just keep talking to her? I don't know what to do. Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Indeed. Of course I do. It's an absolutely vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. And it can, and it can any, open any door in the school, right? That's right. Then we should be able to use it on that door, right? Hey, Kyoko, can we use that key of yours to open this door, right? It's true. Well, let's find out. Kyoko took out the key with the Monokuma's design on it and slid into the keyhole and then click. Oh. Yes, it. Yes, it opened! Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Uh, sounds good. We quickly opened the door and it made our escape from the garbage pit, and then it's like, hell. It, we're just gonna get put into hell. Finally. We were finally free, but there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief because the real fight had just begun. Oh. I'm afraid. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. They really gave us that view, huh? Alright. I mean, I like it. I like the view, but why are you doing my girl like that? Okay, anyway. The ladder was impossibly long, I couldn't even see where it ended. We climbed into darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea we were so far down. Hey, don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help keep my mind off it. Um, so Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You said you're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I can remember, I come from a long line of, line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always been that, seen it that way. She has to climb the ladder in heels? I know. That's what I was thinking too. Like, motherfucker, you should be worried. You are wearing heels. I am wearing fucking sneakers. And you're wearing a skirt. Anyone below you can see up your skirt. I'm just saying. You better watch yourself. I can't- I can't cover- I can't cover your butt- your butthole if someone is coming up that way. Anyway. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? So- right. Because we take pride in it. Pride? Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and do th to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal our evidence. A conscious effort? It's true. It's kind of old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. Because, like I said, it's... It's our sauce of pride. Sauce. Sauce. It's our source of pride. It's our source of pride. Lexi, whose voice is that? Whose voice is that? What, me? Or who, who I'm doing the voice for Kyoko? Sorry. Pride. So that explains. Before I came here, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However. And yet, I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I... In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I... I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never... would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride, the reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak, it was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? 
reconnect. I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You would have had so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However, there is something I want to say to him, though. Call him a deadbeat father. No, I'm just kidding. What? I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? The last time I saw him, I was still very young. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of Kirigiri family. He was talented, he had a promising future. However... But he had no interest in the detective world work. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Want to my lap? You want cuddle? You're so cute, so handsome. You should be a voice actress. I'd love to do voice acting, honestly, sometime, but I don't know how to get into it. Um. So he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died, and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather, and they had a huge argument. And young as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family's name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I had gone with him, I would have never had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression, so I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative and more emotional. I... Blech. I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. However, there's... But there's one thing. One thing that I can never forgive. Really? So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However... But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this day. I... His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him to get out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. Correct. That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family. In order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt... He forgot about me years ago. But your family, to cut him out just like that. Wrong. Our only connection is through blood, nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood, but, but not by heart and soul. Hi, Kika. Hello. Kika, my beloved? Yes. Baby girl, I love her. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that. I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. Yeah, just let her, let her talk. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. And after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Looks like this is Indeed. it. On the other side of the store, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're back. That's right. Remember that hatch on the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I unlocked it earlier, so it should open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reached my hand up and pushed against the hatch. The hatch opened with ease, and so... We made it, baby girl. We did that. We did that. We did that. Looks like we're back. Whew. But I can't believe how long the ladder was. I'm exhausted. I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back in Hope Speak Academy. Kyoko, thank you. I would have never gotten out there without you. No thanks necessary. I was just returning the favor. 
You did, baby. You did. You did. And can we... Can I... Can I offer you a kiss on the lips, maybe? You know, just be like, for, for, for your thanks. You know, I just like, can I just get a kiss, please? Or I can I can give you a kiss, you know? We're looking out for each other, you know? Whatever. Anyway. So now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the mastermind finds out, and I'm worried about you, too, you helped me, so they might... Listen, you're worried. Yeah, of course, you're my wife. Why wouldn't I be worried? So then... Then let's just get a concrete answer. Huh? In other words... Let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, that's... However... If we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we're found out. And it's not like we can run away. As she said that, she pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stressing, stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry. What you think is going to happen isn't. Because... Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared. You said something like that before, what does it mean? So... The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Makuro's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. There was? Right. If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. And it'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. I'm still a little no super uneasy about this. But we don't really have a choice, do we? Mom, Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? Let's get going. All right, baby girl, let's go. We're back in the school. So the gym. So I should just. Okay. You can kiss me, I guess. Shut up, Dontra. <laughs> Well now, well now, well now. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, my phone fell. Oh. Yoko, I don't mind so much. I don't believe oh. it. Oh, Makoto's supposed to be dead. What is he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? Poom, poom. You are supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? What? So what if I did? What will you do? She Part is part party is exposed during the class trial, they will alone be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. You're making me angry. So now I gotta punish you again, and this time I won't leave anything to chance. Kyoko, do whatever you feel you have to. What? However, but before you do, let me just say one thing. No. If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Huh? Huh? What the, what the fuck are you saying? I, I lose? Hey! You! Explain yourself! What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be the Chosen as the Blackened, and ex and then executed, right? Yeah. Hey, what are you talking about? What the, what the fuck are you saying, you crazy bitch? However... <gasps> but when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. <laughs> because you never imagined that... Imagined that in that position. One person would protect another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development... Indeed. You reacted by proclaiming Makoto to be the Blackened and trying to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation, no more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. However... But then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Alter ego. You never imagined the possibility of being that... Of being... That could come to our aid even after you killed it. Am I wrong? Now here's another... A now here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Mukuro. You did. Listen to me. So executing Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules. Which I know you love so much. If the Blacken is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Mm -hmm. That and that means I lose? You talk big game! You're saying the Blacken is me and not Makoto? Well... And you can prove this, right? 
Well, no, I can't. Don't just say it like that. Yeah. What is this, a comedy routine? To make such bold claims without a shred of evidence. That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find something. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there is only ever one absolute truth. Poom, poom. And now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type? Because... If Makoto really was the killer, he never would have had to come to you willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have had... He would have had tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you loved to inspire. However... But here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck? Who was Makoto again? She was the 16th student. That we never met. And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence? Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. Yeah. Hey. Of course, you can say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. Yeah. If you want to earn our despair, fair and square... That's what we have to do. Then I suggest you take my advice and shut up your ass! Um... So... So, so, what is this advice of yours, huh? You're gonna tell me to put a stick up my ass? I mean, I wouldn't mind it, honestly, but, like, there's, there's better advice out there, I know for that for sure, but, like, what advice do you have for me? It's true. To do Makura's trial over again. Only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fail trial. It's time for one last showdown. I knew there was gonna be another one trial. Final battle between I said it. <laughs> and despair. I said it, I told Muffin, I was like, I guarantee there's gonna be another trial that happens. Hey. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial, one less showdown, in other words. This would be our chance to expose the true identity of Makuro's killer of the Mastermind themselves. But what reason would the Mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> Interesting! My voice has suddenly changed to a fucking creepy man! Barrett! Very interesting indeed! Barry? What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little, so time for bear jokes! Now what you've suggested might be possible! It would certainly make one honey of a climax! In other words... Does that mean you accept? You guys! If we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I'm... Play bear to agree to your terms! <laughs> will your home win out? Or will my despair... Claim victory? I can barely contain myself! Let's have one Presley showdown! He'd agree. He agreed. Then we still have a shot at this. Barrett. But this is a long awaited climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting end! You guys! So for this final face-off, you'll have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here! All the mysteries. <laughs> that's right! Every last mystery that's pawing around the school, if you can do that! I can barely contain myself! Then that'll be enough to qualify as victory for you! It's true. That's what we've been trying to do all along. <laughs> okay, well, good! Then that's... what's bare at all! If you can claw your way to the truth of Makuro's death and solve the mystery of the school... You guys! Then you win! <laughs> but if you can't do all of that... We'll all face execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement! When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> We're excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. When we've uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? Honestly can't believe how this all turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? 
When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that! I remember that for sure! So, so what? Hey. I just want to confirm, that is what you said, right? And it's a true statement? <laughs> you have to be so suspicious! I've been, I've said it before! But it's bears repeating! Everything is based on the school regulations! And having a trial for Mokuro is no exception to that! Huh? Mukuro's trial is no exception, then it's part of the regulations. Which would have mean that whoever killed Mukuro. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay! Enough puns! Anyway, here's a hint! I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game has begun with 16 participants! All of them high school students! And the only people that to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began... Are those 16 students! What? Listen... Are you telling the truth? Why do you go quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> now I'm really angry! I'm done talking! I've got nothing left to say to you! So get lost, would you? Why so mad? Why are you being a little bitch? Whew. He seems emotionally unstable. Hey! Leave me alone! Get out of here! Fuck off! <laughs> okay, I'm going. I just, uh, you're really gonna let me go? I don't even care anymore! You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway! I need to start getting it ready! A super duper extra special punishment! Overflowing with despair! <laughs> hey, come on, Makoto, let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shut up, freak. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Monokuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. And just like that, we were out of the gym. I Motherfucker, why's my phone doing that? Stop. It needs to stop tipping over. I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up getting not getting executed. I still had my life and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Talk to me, baby girl, listen. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because However, of you. Don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. Whew. But still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the Mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? So... they had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because... It's all because of that one moment that the Mastermind let down their guard, like I said. So when was it that Mastermind let their guard down? So... I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the Mastermind said? They said they had hijacked the airways to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. Listen. And what do you th and what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. Indeed. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, the kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. However... And yet somehow the Mastermind was able to do it. In other words... But think of it another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. A reason? So... They had to show the world something, no matter the cost, us killing each other. They wanted to show the world? It would seem... The Mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regu stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. In other words... So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other, and show that off to the world. But why? Correct. To prove a point, most likely. Prove a point? Hey. The outside world has a name for the students of Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept. You're talking about Hope, right? That's right. And for those of us who represent hope to kill each other and sink into despair, the Mastermind wants the world to see that, to try and prove that despair is better than hope. That's their goal as the ultimate despair. What? They want to prove that despair is better than hope. But that's ridiculous. It's true. You're right. It is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. The group of whose only purpose is to- is- and motivation comes from despair. But is that really their reason for making the rest of us suffer? Mail me a cookie? Cookie! 
I tried to mail it ASAP. Makoto. I know how angry it must make you, and yet, that same motivation is what led to the mastermind revealing their weakness. What? In other words... Because their goal is to broca broadcast this killing game to the world, the mastermind had to be more particular than is reasonable about their regulations. If the mastermind is simply... If the mastermind simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least... At least, that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves. Indeed. That is the precisely the reason. No matter how much they hate... They may hate what I'm doing. I haven't violated a single one of their regulations. So whoever said before, they're like, who is Junko? This is Junko. That motherfucker's dead. She got speared to death. Anyway. <laughs> Junko broke the rules, so she was punished. But in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Right. So instead, they tried to use the class trial, following all their proper rules to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have a right answer, then made me out to be the killer. But even that didn't work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you. Yeah, you're welcome. And due to that failure, the mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the mastermind had to accept your suggestion? Indeed. To prove the world that despair is better than hope, they have to defeat us in perfect form. In other words... It would only do the mastermind harm to have it shown that they violated their own regulations. But all of that was a hunch, right? And you were still able to get the mastermind to accept your challenge. However, well, it's only thanks to you that we got the chance. Because you believed in me, another path opened up. Still, I can't believe how much the mastermind's thoughts and plans were able to f you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. Wrong. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. Whew. But it looks like I got it right. This time, at least, I won the bet. She let out a quick sigh. I took it as a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seem totally confident from the moment we decided to go to talk to him. <laughs> Well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, if I showed my uneasiness, that would have just made you much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However... Anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. If we can't defeat the Mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There's no option except to win. Hey. But before we begin the battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True, but now we will know who our real enemy is. All we have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the mastermind. We work together with everyone. However... Is that really possible? Huh? Anyway... Right now, we have to find the others. Shall we go? They're probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? Okay, let's go. I wonder who's gonna... S they're gonna see me and be like, What the fuck? And I'll be like, Hello! It's gonna be that, like, the little girl thing, like, the meme. It's like, she's like, hello. Which is... Wait. I have to go this way, hold on. I'm gonna just do this one. Just bring me here, fuck. So are they in their rooms? Right, should I just, like... So are they in their rooms? Celeste, open the door! Okay, oh. Let's just talk about- uh, Hina, are you in here? Are you in this fucking room? This is Hina's room. Is she inside? Hey. I don't think she's here. Come on, we need to keep looking. Alright, I'm gonna just knock on everyone's door. This is Hina's room. Is he inside? Hey. Yeah, I'm just gonna- I don't think they're in these rooms. I'm just gonna knock on them anyway. Assuming they're not in the room, we're just gonna do it anyway. Hey. Okay, 
motherfuckers hey. are not here. Okay, they're not here. I'm assuming there's nothing that's gonna tell me where they are, right? Wait. Hold on. What the fuck? Hold on, wait. But the no, she's she's somewhere. Can I talk to her somewhere out here? Where is she? Where is she that I can just talk to her? Where are you, baby girl? Where are you standing at? Where the fuck is she? Anyway, let's let's just go. I'm assuming I wonder if they're all upstairs. I'm assuming they're not gonna show me. I can't I can only I'm just gonna look everywhere. I'm just gonna look everywhere. Where the fuck are these motherfuckers at? Cause it's not letting me go past the second floor, so I'm just gonna look up, like. And suddenly we were greeted with. <laughs> you again. <laughs> Is he broken? I suppose his emotional instability reached its limit. Jeez, what the heck? However, I wonder what that was all about. I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. It's Hina, I'm assuming. Is that Makoto? Y you guys! It is! There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto! Huh? You s survived? Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? Everyone was there, all my friends who had struggled together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. What? Wait, what's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man, seriously, that stinks. Uh, it's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. <laughs> Get away, shoo! And in a flash, my tears dried up. <laughs> Motherfuckers, why are you so mean to me? What the fuck? Yo. Thank you for the follow, Bobby. I appreciate it. Hey, Makoto, what was it like hanging out in the spirit world? I didn't go to the spirit world. You know? Did you get to talk to her? Who? Hmm. Miss Cleo. No, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't get to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? Like, what the fuck are you on about, brother? Hmm. I still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Do you realize why it is you escaped execution? It was alter ego. He saved my life. That's right. Not too many people can say they had their lives saved by a computer program. Hmm. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. Yes. So what have you guys been doing while I was gone? Well, we figured out that since the trial was over, we'd have access to new places again. And? Aww. No dice. All the rooms were locked before. They were still locked. So there weren't any new areas. Then where can we go to find new clues? How you doing? Oh, uh, you stink! Are you run? Uh, I'm telling you! Run physically, mentally, every way you can be run! Sorry, I was rolling around in garbage for a while. <laughs> this smell is so smelly! <laughs> I hate her, I fucking hate her! <gasps> Super smelly! You smell even worse than me! Way worse than me! <laughs> I win! She seems happy for some reason. Okay, Toko. Like, I rolled around in garbage for a day, but you don't take a shower for a week and I just smell worse than you. Listen, yeah, you win. You win, baby girl. You got it. Makoto. There's no time to indulge in the extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Explain, explain what? Hmm. But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. That's related to what I have to tell you all. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. The last class trial? In other words... We're going to redo Makuro's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? No, I didn't do it like I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer, and of course it's not me either, or any of you. Huh? Then who is it? I see. What she's saying is it was all the work of the mastermind. Huh? What? You're saying the mastermind killed Makuro? That's right. That's right. It was all an elaborate trap to... Contrived by the mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to do to stop it. However... But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What? What did you say? You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? 
You make it sound like it was easy, I just, you know... However, but executing Makoto, who wasn't the Blackened, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rule states that only the Blackened is to be executed. The Mastermind broke their own rule. <laughs> which is why I went and negoti <laughs> nego <laughs> negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. Huh? And the Mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? <laughs> then they had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. That's what you were referring to. Don't be mean! Hey, I'm totally in the dark here because I'm a fucking idiot. Please, someone tell me. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again later. <laughs> so, knowing all this, what do we do now? About that. It's about who killed Mukuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind. Hmm. But there's more to it than that, correct? Hi, Shiro. Um, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Huh? Every last mystery? But... But we've been looking around all this time, and we still don't have anything, right? Anyway... You've probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh, no! Everyone! I hate you! Hey, who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us? <laughs> I'm fine with things the way they are. I'm fine living here forever with Master. I mean... I mean... I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway... At this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. <laughs> In other words, one decisive battle... A rather interesting development, I'd say. But, but figuring out who the Mastermind is and how they killed Mukuro and all the school's mysteries? <sighs> it's a pretty f tall friggin' order. Maybe, but this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so... Sh <laughs> I'm not sh so sure about that. I can't fucking speak. Huh? I... Oh, God. You're killing it with all the different battles you sound like me role-playing on Skyrim and Fallout. I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. You can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought. That uh, Fuck! <laughs> That's what I thought, too, so far. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint? <laughs> I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step into Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. I see. Voices. That's what I'm assuming you meant. Monokuma said that, did he? Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? huh? But why? So in other words... If the mastermind really is the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko says, then the mastermind would have had to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma would probably murder Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. In other words... But according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. <laughs> then the mastermind is... There were 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning. Add in Mukuro, and you get 16. Yes, yes. So the mastermind would have to be one of them? That's right. And one of those 16 people we started out with, the only one still alive, are the people standing right here. Need I continue, or do you get it now? What? You're saying the mastermind is one of us? No way! You can't be serious! Wait, we can't say that that's for sure true. Monokuma might have just said all that to confuse Indeed. us. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. <laughs> and that is one possibility we can't ignore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate, right? The ultimate despair, so they must be a high schooler. Mm -hmm. You can't say it's not possible! If one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious any time Monokuma was active? Oh, wow. Maybe they
really snuck off and controlled him in secret? But... I don't care how sneaky you are. We would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. All right, so I'm going to say something right now because I have a theory. And I think it has to do with a spoiler because, again, I've been spoiled about things. I don't know if this is for this game or this is about another game, but I know Junko comes back. So if it is this game, is she supposed to be the mastermind? I don't know. Don't tell me. I'm just saying because it might be. It, it's. I know she comes back in one of the games or this game. I don't know what which one it is, but if it is Junko, I kind of am expecting it. Because now with how the story's going, I, I can imagine it. But it just sucks. It's unfortunate. But honestly, I, I'm actually curious to find out like if she is the mastermind. I want to know like how this all happened or like what the fuck the deal was. But like we'll see. I was just wanted to say that because like I have an idea of maybe who it is, but like I don't know if that's it. And I don't know if she just comes back in another game, and that's what I'm thinking of. But anyway, I don't know how sneaky you are. We would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? Then maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. school announcement. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? Yeah! Shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. How very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. I don't even know what that word is. I'm just not even gonna try and fucking That's say it right. Fine. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But <laughs> I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. In the name of my family. At this point, I can rely only on myself, on the Togami blood flowing through my veins. <laughs> I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Goodbye. Well then. After making his final statement, Bayaku, you left the dining hall. <gasps> Master! He didn't take me with him! Hey. Do you blame him? <laughs> without Master, the rest of you are like... Coffee with cream without the cream or coffee! <laughs> You're totally useless! So bye! With that, Toko charged out of the dining hall. <sighs> and now she's gone. And you're gonna go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Which just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go by myself, too. What the? Fuck just you. Just a second. Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Laughing loudly, Hiro left the dining hall. <laughs> Everyone's really gonna go off by themselves? You know what about you? Mm. Um, I guess I'll do the same thing. But... I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know? Cause, I but mean... But up until now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been here, I would've died. Uh, Makoto! <laughs> uh, that's really nice of you to say. But... But still, I know mostly I've been totally useless. Okay. So I figured that at least out here at the end, maybe I can find something that'll help us all get out of here. So I'm gonna head off and do it all on my own. <laughs> okay, see you later. Ha! Hina was surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. And once again, it's just us two. Indeed. Oh, baby girl, you came back. Hi. You wanna sneak in the kitchen real quick and do a smoochy smooch? Okay, anyway. Ha, ah, baby girl, how you doing? So I don't think we're... So we need to find the unlocked rooms, right? I'm assuming. Let's go to the unlocked areas. I probably shouldn't leave. Wait, do I talk to her? My bad. So you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Kyoko? Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to do our searches separately doesn't mean we still can't work together. So... That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigation doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I just see it as us splitting up to cover more ground, and then we can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right. So then. Back now, how to get ingredients for root beer. Oh, nice. A root beer float. 
Well, I better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Correct. Manukuma said all the doors in the school had been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Makoto. Makoto, no, ma no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. That Kyoko was gone, leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. I have to begin my search. I still can't believe the Mastermind might be one of us still. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove that the Mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the Mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of the school. And then we can all escape together. Fuck. <laughs>